5G, an essential part of the society of the future. To solve the various associated issues, we at ASCII are here to help. This is a smart factory. 5GC signals travel through MECs, small cells, and so on, finally reaching a robotic arm to control. This autonomous robot arm is equipped with a 4K video camera, which can transmit a large volume of data at near zero latency. It seems the autonomous robot arm is malfunctioning and it has to come to a stop. To handle situations like this, ASCII's technical support system consists of three phases, tiers one to three. Compliant with the global standard for IT services, ITIL allow us to walk you through our problem-solving process. A signal indicating a fault in the robot arm has reached the factory system via small cells and CPE. The first phase of troubleshooting is to identify the source of the problem. After examining the logs, it is found that there is an issue with the small cell. However, merely operating the equipment did not bring about any improvement. The logs are then submitted into AIMS, the ASCII Issue Management System, and information is shared between the factory and ASCII. From the next phase onwards, ASCII acts through direct response. Troubleshooting information is sent to the ASCII Japan office through AIMS. ASCII's Japan office first analyzes the logs. Next, from our office, we simulate the environment of the factory where the problem occurred. During this process, device is placed in an isolation enclosure to block external radio waves. We've identified the cause. This illuminated red block represents the software that controls the small cell. Therefore, the root of the problem lies not with hardware, but with the software. In such cases, we first use tools to analyze the problem. If the problem remains unresolved, we proceed to the next phase, where logs will be shared with Taiwan HQ through AIMS. In the final phase, we engage in the direct solution of the software. Engineers at the Taiwan headquarters develop a patch to diligently rectify the problem. Patch is sent to ASCII Japan office, where engineers validate it in an environment resembling the actual factory setting. Upon confirmed that the patch is working correctly, the small cell issue is resolved. This patch is then securely transferred to the responsible department within the factory via AIMS. The affected small cells have undergone an update, resulting in the resumption of operations for the robotic arm. This is ASCII's technical support system. Embrace the 5G era with ASCII.